fun. Oh, oh good morning. Sorry, I wasn't expecting anyone. You kind of started me there. And who might you be entering my house? I'm Lauren. I'm with Groomed and Broom. <laughs> I'm the one who normally cleans your house. And why do you have a baby and you're here to clean? I'm sorry. My babysitter didn't show up this morning and I had no choice but to bring her. But don't worry, it's okay, it won't be a problem. I'll just go ahead and feed her, put her in her stroller, and I'll get straight to work. Oh yes, she will be a problem. You're here to clean, not the baby. Is that thing gonna help you clean? Her name's Ari. I don't care what her name is. It is whatever I choose to call her. Ma'am, I always do a great job. It's just that my babysitter flunked on me and I had no choice. But don't worry, I'm still gonna do a great job. Ow. That's the problem with ah. people. We like to bend all the rules to suit yourself. Please, I can't afford to lose this job right now. Please, ma'am, I'm a single mother. I do everything on my own. I'm behind on my rent and I'm pulling overtime just to pay it so I don't get evicted. Please, ma'am, please. I don't care. That is none of my business. I am about to call your manager and tell him about all this unprofessionalism. You are here to clean. I can still clean. I can still clean. Shut up. Hello, this is Desiree, and I would like to speak to one of the managers there. Good evening, Desiree. This is Mrs. Thomas, one of the managers here. How can I help you? Oh, perfect. I have an employee of yours who showed up to my house with a baby when she's supposed to be cleaning. Is that how you run your company? Oh, no, I apologize, ma'am. And no, not at all. That's not how our company is ran. That is actually strictly against our company policy. What is the name of the employee? Her name is Lauren. And is she still there with you? Yes, her and her baby. Okay. Um, do you mind handing her the phone so I can talk to her, please? Good evening, this is Lauren. Good evening, Lauren. Um, I was told that you have a baby on the job. Is that accurate? Yes. I had to bring my baby with me today. My babysitter didn't show up, but I promise this won't get in the way of me doing a great job. Lauren, I understand, but you know that it's against our company policy. And, and since this was reported by one of my contractors, Lauren, I have no other choice but to let you know. Please. If I get fired, everything's gonna go wrong. I have nothing to eat. I have nowhere to go. I have no family here. I'm all by myself. I am so very sorry, Lauren. Well, what is your badge number? 4432. Lauren DaCosta, is that correct? Yes. Okay, Lauren, unfortunately, you were effectively removed as a contractor cleaner for Group the Room Cleaning Services. Please hand the client her phone and leave her residence immediately. I hope you learn your lesson, you low life animal. Oh my god. Please help me, I need you. Oh. 
Oh my God. Jesus. What am I going to do? I'm hungry. This baby is hungry. Ah! Now we got nowhere to go. Mama's going to figure something out, baby. Mama's going to figure it out. Oh. Lord, I'm asking for your deliverance. I ask for your guidance. And I'm asking for your blessings. We are suffering, dear God. I am suffering. Uh -uh. My daughter doesn't have anything to eat. Neither do I. Lord, I'm asking that you see us through this storm. My faith is in you, dear God. I trust you. And I know that you are watching over us and protecting us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sweetheart, I saw your son and your situation really touched my heart. I wish it was more that I can do, but I only have $20 to my name and the Lord put it in my heart to give it to you. Thank you so much. This will help me out a lot. 
Oh, she's a pretty baby. How old is she? Thank you. She's 11 months. What's her name? Her name's Ari. Oh, she's a pretty baby. Thank you. It hurts my heart to see you on the street, especially with an 11-month-old baby. I wish it was more than I can do. I live off of welfare. I'm barely making it. I actually live with my son and his wife. It's okay. You've done enough. This will really help me out. At least I get to feed my baby today. When was the last time she ate? Well, I'm not able to buy her formula, so I just feed her whenever we find food laying around somewhere. Oh my God. I'm gonna pray for you tonight. Thank you. You know what? I had a dream last night and it caused me to buy a lottery ticket. And the clerk accidentally gave me two tickets with the same number. Hmm, I'm gonna give you one. So if I win, we both win. You get half and I'll get half. Oh my God. Thank you so much. And you know what? The jackpot is $1.3 billion. If we win, you'll get half and I'll get half. Only if nobody else have those winning numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I was able to put a smile on your face. Thank you so much. I really needed this. It was nice meeting you. And you have a good night. Thank you. You too. Hi. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Can you help me, please? How can I help you? I'm hungry and I'm in need. Wait, don't I know you? No, I'm sorry. We never met before. Desiree. You're Desiree, right? You live on 44 Court Royal Street? How did you know? I used to live there. It's Lauren. It's Lauren. I'm the one who came to your house to clean and I had my baby and my babysitter couldn't make it and you called and had me fired, remember? I'm so sorry for that, for all the pain I caused you. You were so high and mighty and rich. What happened? Why are you on the street? My husband went into bankruptcy shortly after that. He was the breadwinner of the family and that led him to commit suicide. And ever since then, I had to fend for myself, my family and my friends. Everybody turned their back on me. And I guess they have a valid reason. While I was sitting on my throne, I never cared for anyone. I never gave to anyone. I never loved anyone. And so everyone turned their back on me and I deserved it. You caused me so much pain. And all I was trying to do was make a better life for me and my daughter. But you called my job and you had me fired. We ended up homeless on the street, eating out of trash cans, all because of you. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for that. I've been on the streets for almost three months now, and I have felt every pain and every punishment. I came to your car to beg from you, and I understand if you don't give to me, because I don't deserve you. I forgive you, and I'm happy that you learned your lesson. I'm happy that you understand that all people are equal, no matter what you were given or what you have, because it can all be taken and lost in a matter of minutes. If you don't mind me asking, how did you get this, to this status? Well, my story is a little unique. I was actually panhandling on the street and a nice lady pulled up to me and gave me $20. And then she told me she had a lottery ticket and that the clerk actually printed out two of the same tickets. So she gave me one and told me that if she win, I would win. And the next day, we both won. So we met up to collect the prizes. She's now my child's godmother and we bought houses in the same community. Oh my God, if that's not the work of God, then nothing is. That is truly a miracle. My heart is relieved to know that you're not out here suffering because of me. 
to God be the glory. And I hope he's continued to bless you because you deserve it. Thank you. I was in disbelief, but it happened and now we're here. I started my own businesses and we're doing pretty good now. My daughter is healthy and she got all her shots and we're not hungry or homeless anymore. What I did to you, I am truly sorry. It's okay. Vengeance is the Lord's, not mine. And I also started an organization for single women and men and people who were struggling overall. I have a place for you. I can give you employment and I can give you a place to sleep. You would do that for me? And I caused you all that pain and you would help me. God's blessings is shining upon me and I will help others as he has blessed me. As the Lord prayer says, Lord, forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thy, thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You are the nicest person I ever met. That is so sweet. Come on, why don't you hop into my car? I'll take you over to my shelter and they will take really good care of you over there. Come on over. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on those notification buttons so you know when we drop something new.